All right, so we're gonna try and get some uh, hiking in this morning. And of course, getting there is just gonna be part of the adventure today, here in the snow. We got four wheel drive in this Jeep, so we should be all right. We are in a place called Middle Creek Wildlife Management Area. I've been here before a number of times in videos. It's kind of close to where I live, so it kind of makes sense to come here if the weather's bad. And no, there's hardly anybody else out here. But I do want to, you know, test the four-wheel drive in my Jeep here as well. I haven't really had to use it yet due to weather. And she's handling pretty well. And there's one other person out and about. Almost up here to our destination. We'll be parking up at the visitor center or close to it. And no, I'm not speeding either. I know sometimes with this camera it makes it look like I'm going really fast, but it's just due to the angle of the camera. Up straight ahead is the visitor center, but I think we're gonna. The trail I want is down this way, so we'll go down. I think we can park down here as well. If I remember. Well, and here we are, and as expected, I am the only one out here at Middle Creek today. It's this Saturday, January 18th, and finally getting some solid snow. So I'm gonna be hiking what's called the uh, Spice Bush Trail. I don't think I've ever been on this trail. Not a super long trail, and not necessarily anything overly special about it, but a nice snowy day like this makes anything special. Oh, there's a woodpecker. And I can hear the geese, the swans and the geese over in the lake. I don't know if you can hear that. But Middle Creek is the place I come to in late February. You know, all the snow geese and the tundra swans are out there. We may stop there on the way out of here at the lake to see what's going on out there. There's quite a few of them out there. Anyway, it's a beautiful little time for a hike. We might get up to you know, five inches or so, we'll see. Right here is Spice Bush Trail.
was just walking along, I saw it looked like a little mouse running across here. And I think you can see its little footprints there. Little tiny footprints, but I think it was a shrew. He ran up into that little hole there. Shrew shrews are, they look like mice, but they're much smaller and they have much more narrow uh, noses, I guess you could say. I wasn't expecting to see him out there today. And he had these little uh, boardwalks here because when it's not frozen, it's kind of swampy here. As you can see, kind of there, so it makes it a drier walk for people. And it is a dry, powdery snow. It's not the kind of snow that's clinging to everything. It is about, uh, I think it's about 22 degrees out here, so it's kind of chilly too, compared to what we've been having. I just, like I said earlier this week, it was I was hiking in like 60s. It's pretty warm, and now it goes from hiking in about 60 degrees to about 20 degrees in snow. That's the way it is. <laughs> so we're coming up to a trail junction here. And Spicebush Trail continues off that way, but the Valley View Trail goes up here. And if I remember looking at a map, I'm gonna make this like just a little bit longer by going up here and coming back down. Spice just just spice bush trail from another way. This Valley View Trail is when I hiked when I did that little magical icy hike. The ice cleaned everything. So we're back in that area again. So down there through the trees is the large lake, and that's where all the geese are. You can probably hear them. And some Canadian geese and some snow geese. Maybe be some uh, tundra swans down there. But I think we will stop on the way home and see who's all out there. Give them a visit. Might as well. And we are coming up to another trail junction. Of course the Valley View Trail continues up. That's what I did on that, that hike that I mentioned, the icy hike. We're going to turn right here and take the uh, Fire Line Trail. Actually there's some other footprints here. So someone was here earlier this morning I believe it looks like. Snow has dwindled a little bit but there should be more on the way. It's kind of coming in in bands of snow, they call it. So we're kind of in a, just a little bit of a lull right now. But more is on the way.
right, so the fire line trail continues on. We're gonna hook it right here. And now we're back on the uh, Valley View Trail. This is where it comes back down the mountain. It's a ways over from where we were on it earlier. And this should take us back to the Spice Bush Trail as well. Yeah, right up here is the Spice Bush Trail again. So we will hook a left. Continue on Spice Bush Trail. Back to the purple blazes again. And the snow has stopped almost completely now, which is kind of a bummer. Like I said, it should pick up in a bit again. I think we're almost at the end of the Spice Bush Trail. All right, so I am almost back down to where the Jeep is parked. And we are gonna go try to get a view of all these geese that are over there. I think we're gonna, there's one place right off the road I'm gonna pull over. Cause on the way up I can see some there, but there's another place where I can park and travel down uh, a trail to a much closer viewing area. There's always usually lots of geese. Cause the other day when I was coming home from work, I saw, you know, there's thousands of those snow geese down there. It's pretty early for them, but we'll, we'll go see what's going on. You know, might as well continue this adventure and maybe it'll start snowing again as we go down there. So we'll keep this adventure going. There's my girl waiting for me. So let's go check out some snow geese. Making our way to the first area that I'm gonna pull off at. Just up here, there's already someone pulled off up there. Quite a few geese out there. The wind picked up all of a sudden. See lots of Canadian geese. There's some I just trying to zoom in on some of them out there. Hope they're focused. Some of those, uh, are those tundra swans? Actually, I think those are tundra swans, not snow geese. Whoops. So this is a quick little look from this side of the road here but the breeze coming off that lake is pretty brutal I think my beard is frozen but since I'm out here I think I will go down to the other spot even though this wind is oh there it comes <laughs> we'll see all right all right so I am gonna go ahead and hike what's called the Willow Point Trail it's a pretty popular spot here at Middle Creek but I from over there we were earlier, I think I could see a lot of white down here. Not, not, not snow, but I think it's the tundra swans. A whole bunch of them down here. So since I'm out here, like I said, we're going to go uh, check it out. 
even though that that breeze coming off that lake was brutal you know it's about like 20 degrees out here and you put the wind chill in all right well on second thought we're not gonna go they have the area closed it says the willow point trail is closed for a controlled goose hunt well, that's a bummer so we're not gonna go see any tundra swans down there because there are some other vehicles parked here and I wondered why the gate was closed now I know why I did hear a shooting earlier yeah well so we won't go down the Willow Point Trail all right that's kind of disappointing now though all right well anyway I hope you enjoyed this little hike in the snow. Of course, it's not snowing now anymore. But anyway, I had a fun time coming out here. It's always fun to be out in the woods. It's always fun to go hiking during the real first snowfall of the year, which would be today. Anyway, thanks for coming along, and uh, I'll see you around.